Gavin joins us. Gavin, a uh, lot of tension on the hockey. Yeah, absolutely right. Yeah, so lots to talk about in the hockey football as well. We'll talk hockey first because it's an exciting time for British hockey as both the men's and women's teams uh, will be going for gold at this year's Olympics. GB's women uh, beat Ireland in Valencia while the men beat New Zealand to secure, both of them secure their spots in uh, Paris. Uh, we're now joined, I'm pleased to say, by former Team GB hockey player and gold medal winner, of course, Sam Quek, who's in the studio. Sam, great good to Good morning. How are you morning. doing? All right? Yeah, good. Better after yesterday's yes. results. That's really good news for the sport. Absolutely right. You know, as a former gold, gold medal winner yourself, you know, former Team GB uh, star, of course, back in 2016 with, with the team in Rio. How uh, does it feel to, to see the team potentially be able to go for gold again? Um, it's, it's, it's a funny one, actually, because everyone's celebrating it in the news, which is fabulous. But the job isn't done. You've got your ticket to Paris. You're ready to go. And I think in the run-up now, for the, it's, what, six months away? Time has gone so quick. It's all about, like, reset, get back, and you've ultimately got to get selected again to go and represent Great Britain at the Olympics. But great pitches there, and it's so good to see the faces. It, that, that's just relief as well as joy, qualifying for Paris. Yeah. What are these months in the lead up to Olympic Games like? I can't imagine like waking up every day and thinking we're months away now. Yeah, absolutely. I, and for, well, for me, I can go from my experience and obviously now being a broadcaster, being able to mix the two, it's quite it's quite special. Um, but at this point uh, in the run up to the Olympics for Rio, I wasn't selected for this particular tournament. So it was a funny one. Um, but you, again, the opportunity to get into the coach's eye, making sure that you're faster, you're stronger, that you're going to get selected. You have every day to make that opportunity happen. So, you know, you've got heart rate monitors on, you've got your GPS, you go into training on the pitch twice a day sometimes. It's recorded. There's nowhere to hide. Mm. So uh, it's just about making sure you're at the front on best performance, eating the right thing, doing the right thing. Uh, and ultimately getting selected. And yeah. when do they make that decision? When do you find it's out? Quite, it's quite late. So I was looking at the fixtures actually coming up in the next six months. What have GB Hockey got before the Olympics? And there's a pro league in June in London. Uh, there's going to be some great hockey on show. But I think that's going to be the Olympic team going to Paris. So it just depends where they fall, really. Um, for us in 2016, we had the Champions Trophy, which is around the same time. But it wasn't actually announced that that was the Olympic team until after that tournament. Okay. Obviously, we knew as players. So keep your eye out on that tournament. That could be your Olympic team going for gold. Um, but it's just, you have to stay fit. You have to push yourself. And there's a fine line between, you know, going in really hard for a tackle, but then thinking, oh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get injured this time round. But you've got to go full pelt. Yeah. Because you train as you play. And Such a long time, isn't it? It yeah. is, indeed. And the pressure as well amongst the, the squad at the moment, trying to get those spots. It must be quite intense, right? Yeah, it's yeah. brutal because, there's, again, you're a team sport, but ultimately, you know, there's one space for you. So as a defender, we took four, maybe another one who could play across midfield and defence. But you're competing with your teammates. Mm. So you want to have that element of competition. But to have a very healthy team culture, you've got to get on. You've got to have each other's backs. And that's what's so special for me in team sports across the board, elite level to club level. And I think that's what's brilliant about sport. You learn to manage yourself, your expectations, learn to lose, learn to win. Um, but it is, it's brutal because you've, you've got to be vulnerable. You've got to put yourself out there to be the best. And we're good at hockey, aren't we? Are. We? we are the fourth best historically, globally, in the Olympics at hockey. What are the chances then, do you think, for both teams, men and women, of bringing medals home this time round? There's always a chance. Uh, the thing with the Olympics, you can train all year and everything has to be... You have to be on it for that two weeks. And for some events, it's for that one race, that one match. For hockey, it's two weeks. Um, women, they're ranked sixth in the world. That's the same as what we were in 2016. Anything can happen. We were written off in the tournament prior to the Olympics because we, again, we didn't even make the semi-final a few weeks before the Olympics. But anything can happen. We went and won gold. Uh, the men are ranked fourth at the moment and they are doing brilliant. Um, these are the guys here qualifying. So that was them beating, uh, they were, Beat. Uh, they won their semi-final. They're playing in the final today at half four on the BBC. Um, they've got a real chance. They're playing some of the best hockey culturally. They're in the best place. And they won a European silver actually last summer, which is one of the first medals in 14 years at a serious top, top competition. So really exciting things for the guys. I think they're in the best place 
in probably the past four Olympics to go and actually. So possibility get some medal. for medals for both of them. Finally, Sam, do you ever get used to being an Olympic gold medal winner? Yeah, I got my. I went to an event two days ago and got my medal out for the first time. And my daughter Molly's two. I've got um, Zach who's one, and Molly is just getting to that point now of, Mummy, what's this? And I'm explaining to her what it is, <laughs> but I don't know whether it's going over her head, whether it's starting to click. But I never get used to it. Um, but it was nice just to get it out. Yeah. My ribbon, yeah. it's, the ribbon's so thick um, and it's, I've never washed it to this day. So there's a, there's a particular waft that comes out yeah. when I open <laughs> up the box. And I'll leave that to your imagination, but it's yeah. blood, sweat, tears, champagne, uh -huh. the lot and good times. But I never get used to it, but just, just mega proud. It's, it's part of my story. As she should yeah. be. Yeah. The lovely thing is, you'd all have probably grew up thinking that it's normal to Every have a gold medal in the has house. A gold medal, <laughs> it seems yeah. everyone has them in the house, but they don't. Obviously. Well, my husband's got a Guinness World Record up on the on the on the wall. So um, what's that for? Well, so what happened? He did a really big um, collage of my headlines from from Rio and you know my shirt, and he said, you know what? I need I need something because our kids are going to walk past that every single day, and I'm going to look so inferior. So for our wedding, he decided to do a Guinness World Record because he thought he's the only one in the world, whereas he's like, there's, you know, there's, there's more than one person with an MBE and a, and a gold medal. So he has the most touches with a sticking ball in a minute in the world as Is of what? 2019. A sticking so random. ball? So touches, so taps, hockey ball taps. Oh, yeah. OK. So he went down to Bowden Club around the corner, <laughs> got videoed and was like, tap, 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 tap. Wow, competitive, so Mark. A very competitive <laughs> household, so, you know. Wow, there yeah. we go. Keep Love our it. eyes on your kids. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, very <laughs> inferior <laughs> to my gold medal, like in this world record. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Sam. I appreciate it. He's not a gold thanks medal winner, though. Yeah. He's not a gold yeah. medal winner. There you go. <laughs> Sam, thanks very much indeed. Let's crack on.